Greetings, Tuberinos. How are you? Good to see you. I hope you're doing well. I've noticed recently I've gained a few new subscribers. Appreciate that. Welcome aboard. Thank you for subscribing. But what I'm about to do next may well cost me some of those subscribers. And you know what? I really don't care. Well, you see, one month ago, I subscribed to the True Puka channel. I also mirrored a video of his after he had been attacked with a false DMCA on a video he was doing regarding a certain doctor that was scamming people and taking money from religious organizations to support the idea that faith healing worked. The True Puka had a video up about that, and it was falsely DMCA'd. And in the spirit of helping people that are trying to do something positive in the world, I mirrored his video and I subscribed to his channel. Indeed I did. That was one month ago and I've watched some of his videos since. I've seen a few before. I've watched most of the ones that are on his, well, I've watched all the ones that have come out since a month ago. I've really liked his videos, thumbed up everyone, made positive comments, and then yesterday he does this. My camera stand broke in ways which make it more of a camera fall over than a camera stand. It turns out that lightweight equipment versus stampeding police officers, the equipment loses. So I'm putting up this video asking for donations to pick up some new gear. Now he Yeah, e-begging. In my opinion, that's e-begging. Now, if you go and follow through and watch that video, you'll see that he claims to be doing this for a very worthy project. And as my understanding, as I understand it, the project is him doing a series of videos to help inform kids on YouTube of the evils of religion and whatever, you know, educational stuff for children, a very good cause. Uh, but my question still remains, why can't you pay for your own camera yourself? This camera has been paid for by me. The computer it's being recorded on has been paid for by me. Now I can't claim to be doing anything so staggeringly significant as to be doing educational videos for children and who could possibly be against that cause, right? And I'm not. But here's what happens when I accused him of e-begging. And basically all I did is I on that video I commented e-begging unsubbed and I unsubscribed because quite frankly I don't approve of it. If you're asking for money for a charity, that's just fine, you know. And if you want to ask for money for yourself, that's just fine too. Go right ahead. I ain't going to give it to you. You can pay for your own damn camera, just like I did, you know. But if you've got something to say, I'll be happy to listen. By whatever means you get it on the fucking tubes. But don't expect me to pay for it for you. You know, I see this as like the biggest coffee clutch in the world where we all get together once in a while at random and listen to what each other has to say. Maybe I mostly listen to you. Maybe once in a while you listen to what I have to say and you might even think it's worthwhile. But I'm never, ever going to ask you to pay for it. Think about that scenario. How happy would you be with a group of friends that you get together with for coffee once in a while when one of them starts saying things like, well, you know, my points are so interesting and my conversation is so very good that you should all consider chipping in together to pay my pay my fare to get here you know maybe a little bell extra to buy me a camera while you're at it you know no no ain't gonna happen so anyway along the ways of at this morning after I sent that simple message e-begging unsubbed I get accused of lying. Oh yeah, the guy gives me this message. Bingo. Yeah, I'm lying. I was never subbed. <laughs> you hypocrite. You know damn well I was subbed. One month ago today I subbed to your channel and I mirrored your video and here is the message you sent me, the PM you sent me, welcoming me.
you know. And then, of course, he sends me a PM after calling me a liar in the comments section of his video. He blocks me and then sends me a PM asking me all my other, my Twitter and my Facebook and everything, what's your ID on all those? So I can block them too because you're too mean to listen to, I suppose, or too mean to have any contact with. <laughs> what a narcissistic dick. You know, you really disappoint me. I thought you had a lot of good things to say. And you know what? In fact, you do. You do. And I would never, ever encourage anybody to go to unsub from your channel. In fact, go. Sub to the guy's channel. He has a lot of good things to say. But sooner or later, he's going to want you to pay for them. And if you don't like it and you unsub, oh, you lie. You lie if you say you ever were sub to his channel. Nice little tactic, buddy. Call me a liar in your comment section and then block me so I can't respond and show them the evidence that I was sub to your channel. You even welcomed me. I mirrored your video because I thought you were being unfairly treated. <laughs> I indicate I don't like being asked for money and I'm the bad guy. <laughs> Mr. Cash has got it right. Fuck you, you narcissistic dickhead. And as for anybody who didn't like my opinion on that, you know where the unsubscribe button is. To the rest of you, peace and long life.